Right. Hey, turn it on. Buckingham Palace, known around the world as the home of Queen Elizabeth II. Until now, an <gasps> impenetrable <Yeah>. fortress, <clears throat> inner workings hidden from view. That is all about to change. We have been granted a rare peek behind the curtains to the home of the most important family in Britain. As the day begins, the Queen oh, gets straight Oh, no, my hair looks work. frightful. How many pounds do they say the camera adds to? Wouldn't necessarily <laughs> think it, but like many of her subjects, the Queen has over. an office job, and with five departments to manage, she relies heavily on her private secretaries. Thank you. <clears throat> and these are the recommendations for the... These men manage all the Queen's engagements and responsibilities, <laughs> and nothing goes on in the palace without their knowledge. As the day goes on, it brings with it more royal duties. I hereby list the following titles. First of all, a meeting of the Privy Council. Her Majesty the Queen. Now, you might be wondering why no one is sitting down. Well, no one quite knows the answer. But it certainly helps to keep things brief. I wonder what's more dull, having to sit through one of those meetings or having to watch it on television. But it's not only the Queen who has royal duties. Queen Mother, too, carries out many public well, engagements. You captured your best side, at least. And it's a great face. <laughs> <place. laughs> oh, look, Mummy. It's your big close up. I'm ready, Mr. DeMille. <laughs> <laughs> One of Her Majesty's favourite pastimes is overseeing operations at the 150 acre stud at Sandringham. But even then, royal duties never let up. Nor does the endless round of functions and receptions. There's always some kind of occasion to prepare for, and whatever the function, the quality of food and service must be second to none. These events may seem indulgent, but they are of national importance. As is the formality. Ambassadors must be treated exactly the same to avoid the impression that one is favoured over another. It's been a great honour, Your Majesty. I found it very interesting, Ambassador. World well, problems are so complex, aren't they? Of course, it's not all dinners and duty. Although the Queen and Princess are often separated from their children, the holidays are a time for family. And they make sure to take them regularly and often. Night, John. That's all right. A favourite destination is Balmoral Castle, <sighs> the Queen's private residence in the Highlands of Scotland. Last night, the nation tuned in as one to watch a documentary that would restore the royal family to their rightful place at the heart of the nation's affections. Sadly, that was not what they got. It's hard to imagine what they were thinking, agreeing to open the doors to television cameras, that stripped of all ceremony and mystery, we would marvel at how normal they were. How remarkably like us. That watching them travel from castle to castle, palace to palace, in yachts and aeroplanes we pay for, stocking on land they own, fishing on rivers they own, and cooking barbecues in forests they own, we would reflect on how tirelessly they toil. What good value for money they represent, oh. and be moved to increase the amount of money we pay them. <laughs> Louder, John. Don't be shy. Yeah, Come on, let's on, all hear it. Come on, John. Come on. Even <laughs> the most ardent monarchist must concede that the strongest piece of armor in the monarchy's arsenal is its sense of mystery, from which derives its air of majesty. <laughs> <laughs> The only thing awe-inspiring about this slot is the size of their overinflated sense of self-entitlement. <laughs> <laughs> and their ability to practice a line in small talk that would have life support patients reaching for the off switch. <laughs> well done, John. Well done.